you are a person who is so deeply connected to the kingdom and to the spirit. You are naturally supernatural. You are someone who creates um, space and encouragement for people to step into giftings that they haven't explored yet, to grow, um, to experience kingdom potential. When I think of you, I think of what true and undefiled religion is. That's what you are. You, you've never acted religious and instead you've um, been loving and showed his um, mercy and kindness to people. Susan Peters is a leader, as a woman of deep faith, as a woman of prayer, as a woman who is wholeheartedly after the things of Jesus and his kingdom. And you are honest, you are straightforward, you are authentic, yet you carry with you the life and the love and the power of Christ. You are one of the most humble, um, one of the most grace-filled, faith-filled humans that I know. I really feel like I have been blessed beyond measure to be under your leadership. Susan, you are a fierce fighter for justice. You are an advocate for women. And most importantly, you are a follower of Jesus. I was thinking about it too. I was thinking, what is a common message I heard through your life? And one of them was gratefulness. You just always have a grateful heart for how God's at work. Wow, how do I put 40 years into a few minutes? Hmm, amazing. You've been there from the beginning. I think when I was 18 and I met you, you were there beside me when I got filled with the Holy Spirit and started my life of surrender to Jesus. I remember you wanting to read Voice of the Martyrs for bedtime stories in college. Oh my goodness. I remember you praying for angels to visit us the night and I'd be like, oh no, no, go to her room. I'm terrified. <laughs> I don't know if I wanted to see an angel. 23 years ago, I remember um, just moving to Waco and asking God for a friend that would take God at his word, believe for the impossible, and one that loved things that I loved. And shortly after, you called and asked if I wanted to start ru running every morning at 5.30 in the morning. And it was just so amazing. I was like, God is just so big. And we ran and uh, long distances and prayed while we ran every single morning um, during the weekday and just watched God answer prayer after prayer. I remember the healing team. You birthed that team. We prayed for a lot of people every Sunday night and we saw people healed and we saw people not healed. And you taught us that God is the healer and our job is simply to love people well and to keep believing that he is who he says he is. Is when I was in Sri Lanka, you were always so wise with your advice and the big things that we felt like, these are horrible things, we can't get over this. You were just like, yeah, it's not really a big deal, it's okay, and help to talk us down. And so thank you um, for that. I, I'm not in jail because of you. Uh, From the first time we met, doing the healing team to um, you inviting me to the discipleship group with Christy and the other ladies to becoming your personal assistant during Elevate and revising and editing the book about Anna's healing. And then eventually you guys welcoming me into your home to live with you. And so many, so many nuggets of wisdom that I find myself quoting <laughs> from you over the years. We've walked alongside each other through mission trips, through um, lots of life's ups and downs, and we have prayed for one another, we have laughed together. Um, there's no one I feel like as a friend understands me more just because of our similar dysfunctional families. Um, but in that need, how even God uses that. He's so faithful to both of us, and we love recounting his faithfulness to us. One thing is the smell of your drink. Was it your pink drink or was it orange? Whatever that spark drink was. <laughs> we could smell it down the hall and we'd be like, Susan's in the office. I remember the first time I heard you teach in Mercedes class 
on um, Dominion, and I'd never even heard that term before. I remember you being preschool director and teaching me how to pray for my kids. I loved those times. I remember you walking us through a really hard um, parenting situation and just being the pastor and friend that I needed. I loved doing um, bound work with you. Um, I loved write. I have memories of writing with you to um, awaken spring break trips. And I remember hearing you talk, how you talked to Marty on the phone and thinking, I want to talk to my husband and adore him the way that you loved Marty so well. And I literally picked up some habits on purpose from that. Susan Peters, it's your Nigerian wonder. You know I love you forever. I remember one thing you said to me I, at least 12 years ago. I was dating someone long distance and was working at the Grace House. I could hardly find time to speak with him and keep up the relationship. And you and I were talking and you asked me, you were like, hey, something's got to go, right? Because it's really important relationships. And I, I assessed my life. I'm like, Susan, there's the only thing that can go right now is sleep. And you're like, well, girl, you better get less sleep, right? And so I just love that you have been a woman who taught me how to live by conviction and prioritize the things that are most valuable. And you've taught me so much, but you've taught me to believe in the church, to serve others, to believe the best about people, and to believe that God is able to do in me and through me all that he wants and desires. To do. I really think of you um, that you've taught me is that you know when people are excited or having you know a, to share something new to rejoice with them and I think you've really showed me that something that I have learned from you over the years is that you can be right in the midst of people's brokenness and difficult situations and still be full of faith and keep your heart clean before the Lord. And I really saw you do that as you were walking through um, a difficult time with our team in Iraq many years ago. Every time I'm in a situation, I hear Susan in the back of my head, I hear you saying, respond, don't react. Resp so like, I just hear, it's like my mayday, like my red light going off and it's your voice saying, respond, don't react, respond, don't react. And so I love um, how you've given me freedom to really let my kids be who they are, um, to accept them right where they are, right how they are, um, not giving in to despair or worry, but really trusting Jesus with them. One thing that Blake and I have learned from watching your life and getting to partner with you is that God is ready and wanting to do impossible things and that we should believe that he can do them because he can. And you've modeled that for us. Um, you believe God for the miraculous and amazing. And then he does it. And I think some of the best piece of advice I've ever gotten is a piece I got from you when I was struggling um, with one of my kiddos and you said you know in the end i think what you want to have them be able to say is um you know mom i know you didn't always agree with all my decisions but um wow you loved me well and i have really tried to live by that and i can tell um that that's what you live by what i've learned from you is in being intentional and um just being an encourager uh, to people and looking deeper than the most obvious things. And one of the things that you said to us in the lead up to us getting married and early on was that if we were able to talk about anything and we were willing to be humble, then we could sort out anything in our marriage. That was That was your marriage advice to us is be willing to talk about anything and be willing to humble yourself. And I have never forgotten that. And it is so true that. So I've learned so many things from Susan, but I think the one that comes to mind uh, the most is that in the work of pioneering and advocating and fighting for things of God's kingdom, that it's really important to keep your heart uh, soft and pure and clean before God and before others. Um, that you could take some hits, but it's really important, um, yeah, to stay uh, without an edge and to stay soft um, and moldable before God. First of all, note to self, lipstick on the lips. 
I did pause and put that on because I know that's important. You've taught me that. I do quote you all the time. And when you say we are living perfectly imperfect lives, um, yeah, just thank you for always reminding me of the goodness of God, that he is always good and he will be good. Even as we, in the waiting, we can trust that it'll land on being good. So thank you for teaching me that, friend. You taught me what it looks like to radically love Jesus and follow Jesus in normal, everyday life. Um, you taught me what it is to hear the Holy Spirit and be friends with the Holy Spirit. And you also taught me just how the joy of the Lord truly is our strength and something to be celebrated and sought after and treasured. When I was just a young youth pastor, you took me under your wing, taught me so much and prayed for me a ton. Thank you for always being an advocate for me and for so many other people. Fort Worth is getting a force. I thank you for all the encouragement that you have given me through the years and um, just how you have invested and spoken into my life and into the life of my children. Susan, I am forever grateful for you. Over the past 15 plus years, you have invested in me, you've listened, you've prayed, you've cried with me, you've empowered me, and you've modeled how to live a life of radical obedience and faith in the God of the impossible. Because you just spoke into things when I needed someone to hear God with me and give me wisdom. And I use and share every single day what you taught me, what you modeled for me, and I am so grateful for that. I love doing ministry with you, being your Barnabas for special projects, being your neighbor for five years. We both have reflected on those afternoons after work when you would come and sit with me every day by the fireplace as I walk through cancer. So thank you. I love you so much, dear friend. You have just been such a friend, such an example, such a joy. I have felt so cheered on by you through all the years and we adore you and love you forever. Susan, thank you so much for your friendship. Thank you for the ways that you invest in women, how you have invested in me for these past 20 years. Thank you for just the way that you love people unconditionally, that you call us to a better version of ourselves. You um, see the potential and you help uh, bring that about. Thank you for bringing other people along with you in your journey and um, seeing them succeed um, in ways that would have never been possible if you hadn't have included them in your process. Or I feel like Susan risked on me over and over again and I felt such belief from her and I want to uh, lead the same way and I want to empower other people the way that she has empowered me. Just being real, um, telling me funny stories, um, but also things from your life. That's what has really meant so much to me is you sharing your heart, never holding back, um, not pretending and being real. It meant so much when you and Marty came over to visit us and all the fun that we had. Fun, realness, beauty, and transparency. I love you, Susan. Susan saw me as a 22-year-old in discipleship school and invited me to be part of the beginning of Unbound with her. She truly changed my life with this. Every day that I worked with her, she believed in me, invested in me, empowered me, and really treated me as a partner, even as I was learning from her every single day. I've learned more from Susan than almost anybody in my life, and I am so thankful for you, Susan. I love you. Susan has um, impacted my life tremendously. She saw something in me that I didn't even know was there, and it has changed my life. Um, and I'm forever grateful. I'm so honored to be called to this work and to fight this fight with her. I love you, Susan. Really how lonely it is to be a woman in leadership and you are definitely my top um, 
ally and confidant in that. And even though we haven't seen each other a ton in the last year or two, um, I'm so grateful for you because I know that more than anyone, I could call you and you would understand all of those challenges. We see the work that you do in the secret place and the way that you resist the normal pulls of the world and culture to live a life that's set apart and the fruit of your life is beautiful. So thank you for being an example to me. You have really just spoken into my life, all of most of my life. Um, I so appreciate what God has put into you and how you have been so faithful to obey. Um, even when you didn't know how you were gonna figure it out or what was next or how it would even all come together. I think that is marked your life um, since you said yes to Jesus. You have impacted me just seeing your level of faith be so consistent over the years and then continuing to chase your dreams even as you get older. And that just gives me faith as, as I grow into my older years. And I'm just so thankful for who you are and your investment in me and believe in um, believing in me and encouraging me to step out and to trust God. And I'm thankful for uh, you getting me and my husband married. Um, so that was really awesome. Um, just having you be a part of my journey and my life. I just love that I can call you whenever I'm down or whatever I'm up and you are always match my emotion and you're there for me and pray for me. Um, I'm just really thankful for your influence in my children's lives as well. They love you and our lives are forever changed by you. You have really impacted my life uh, as a dear friend, as a safe place, as one that I could call and share anything with and you would hear me you would be in it with me friend we've been through so many mountaintops together and we've been through a lot of valleys together and just thank you thank you for being with me in those and so thank you for loving us all so well and praying for us each day and the work that we do and just leading us so well and thank you for all of the doors that you have beat down and the path that you have trailblazed for the kingdom. You didn't do it for you. You did it for the Lord. And just the ways that you've shaped me as a leader, you've just cheered me on time and time again. You were like, go get that PhD. And you've just been such a cheerleader for me in my own journey with God. You will always be one of the most significant gardeners and influencers in my life. Susan, you ask the tough questions that no one else is willing to ask. You always shoot me straight. And when I was in the deepest pit of my life, you climbed right down in there with me and you held me and you spoke truth to me and you prayed for me and you let me snot all over you and you fought for me and I will love you forever. Our hearts are forever bound to put it in the simplest of terms, uh, but that is uh, not something I say lightly because I do, um, I feel so safe with you. I feel so known, I feel so championed, um, and I see someone who I respect. And you may have your times when you're down but it feels like it's for about five minutes and then you turn around and say but god because you have seen god be faithful over and over again and we will continue to see god be faithful